Oh, welcome back to the Vault Studio podcast, the NFL podcast, the best in the nation. The best oh, in the, the nation. nation. I'm just going to start saying it and uh, I'll manifest this shit. We're I'm George. I'm George. Um, I'm joined we're by sound- my uh, my co-host, George. Fuck you, George. Fuck and you. the great James Arthur. How are you, boys? Another week. The great. That's a, that's a that's a fucking long you bucket. Can anyway. Whatever you want. Just why are you calling me James Arthur? All the He's time? been calling it's, you James Arthur for months now. Right off. I fucking love it. I called no, him James. No one calls me that. We were playing PlayStation last night. And I called him James, yeah, and weird. I could just hear it in his voice. He's like and the cringe. Like oh. fucking weird. Man. Why is he calling James? James? My How mom are you, bro? doesn't even call me James. Yes. Okay, James. <laughs> she calls me shut the fuck up and get out of my house stop stealing all my alcohol why are you behind the bushes you're 35 why are you behind the bushes <laughs> that's amazing uh, all right, come on, we're, we're gonna fucking straighten up here let's get, right. let's get stuck into it uh, J.A. take us away the football's first topic football's back right? man football's back fuck football's back wow come on it was a game it was football we got three quarters of the three game quarters, of football before, got, the, so what, it got before the temperature I didn't, I didn't got watch too any. much I didn't watch any. Was the temperature or rain? I thought rain, was... lightning, it was just like a storm. Yeah, uh, inclement weather. Yeah. Incl- inclement, inclement. Inclement, yeah. yeah. Something inclement like that. One of those so was it words. just like everyone got tired of it and just wanted to go home? Is that what it is? Or? I think it was like, hey, we're down to the seven stringers. How about we just get some bad weather in here? The refs are like, oh, it's pretty pretty wet out here. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, it was a lightning storm. It's like, it's like, a, like a union when they stop work for four yeah. fucking drops yeah. of rain. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah, similar cool. to the union when COVID was going on and they couldn't use their lunch. Yeah, they were, they were <laughs> protesting in the street with their lunch tables. Saying that, they, they did drop it very very early into the broadcast that it was bad weather. So I think right. a little tin foil hat theory here. I think it was planned. They wanted to get rid of that we'll game. Just lubing us up for the early finish. I think why they want to get rid of the Hall of Fame game in general. Why do they need the Hall of Fame game? If I was the team that got given the Hall of Fame, I'd be like, fuck, could I play another preseason game? Like, I like the Hall of Fame event. Don't get me wrong. Why can't you just do it on one of the games in week one of the preseason? Make one of them like a Thursday mm. night game for the first preseason it's, game. It's been a standalone game for a while though, right? Yeah, it's to get everyone in Canton to do the actual ceremonies and stuff like that. That's what it's yeah. made for. Because I guess some of the Hall of Fame guys will be coaching and stuff like that. Probably be uh, generally, a lot of the times that the two teams that play in it, are one of those players, or at least one from each team, is going into the Hall of Fame that year. Yeah. So there was one from Houston and one from Chicago. Well, Andre Johnson both went in, yes. became the first Houston Texan to ever make the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Wow. I would say the next would be JJ Watt. Surely. JJ He'll be Watt, first surely. in a couple of years. If, if he's not first ballot, who is? Is it after yeah. three years? Five years. Five years. So he's two years out of the game. He's got three years left. Yeah. What have you done? You unplugged well, your headset. Yeah. Okay. Just slight uh, technical difficulty. Grow up, here. We'll just we'll just carry on while Brock fucking puts his knickers back on. No, <laughs> I've already got a on here. This is uh, all leave him off, boy. We um, are all struggling here, boys. Um, yeah. So there was Andre Johnson, Julius Peppers. He was pretty pretty handy. Yep. He played for Chicago as well for a little while. Yep. Fun fact: Carolina Panthers, then Chicago. Yep. Um, and 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 Green Bay. No, nah, not Green Bay. He never played for Green Bay. Let me get on it. Julius maybe Peppers. he played for Green Bay. I don't know. Maybe, he, he played I'm, maybe I'm having a stroke. Okay, cool. I thought Whatever. he played for the Colts for a little bit at the end of his career, but yeah. I could be wrong. I thought he would play. Anyway, okay. Anyway. No, he, was, cool. he played for Chicago. What do you, you, you think of um, the okay. Hall of Fame game? Uh, a couple of notes I took. Davis Mills for the Texans, the backup. He looked really good. Yeah, he, he um, looked good. I saw a few highlights. He looked in good. fairness, he should be a good quarterback because the neck that long, you should be able to see the entire field at all times. Oh, daddy, daddy, the long neck. Daddy, long neck. I said that in one of our group chats. I got no donuts for it. I was very unhappy with that. Because do you know why I didn't I, I do anything? That's, that's because great. I saw it like three hours later because I didn't, and I didn't realize it was actually Davis Mills playing. For, I, was, I watched him for like a quad, had the sound off, and I was like, oh, this dude is throwing the ball, okay? And then by the end of the game, they're like, yeah, Davis Mills had a good outing. I'm like, oh, oh. Old, old long neck. Oh, no, neck. Shout, long neck. Da- Shout Mills. out to long neck. So, yeah, he, he threw the ball really well, though. Like I said, I think one thing, one big takeaway I took from the game <coughs> was the Texans' offense, like the first couple of drives, it's schematically very good. Mm. Yeah. So once Stroud gets in there with the starters, I think they're going to be... I've, I'm really, really high on the Texans this year. I think they're going to be really good. Mm. They're in a crappy division. They're, they're very, they're just about to say, very, very favourites to win. I'm not division. that high on the Jags. I'm not that high on the Titans. I'm no, not Titans that... are going to suck. Colts oh, are going to be Anthony Rich inde- Rich's independent. I don't think the Titans are going to suck. Yeah, I know. You've been on them. You've been on them early. They signed Quandre Diggs on the Because the way Lil, Will Levis throws it, and I'm talking about in the bedroom as well. And wait, nah, Will wait, Levis, he, he's slinging as I, well. I think he can be a good quarterback. And I'm I'm hooking my bandwagon onto Will Levis this year. I'm going to buy stock in Will Levis. Okay. And I'm going to hold that all year. No matter what Will oh, Levis I, I does. I actually don't hate that. I don't hate that. I no, don't. No matter what Will Levis does going forward, um, he will all be forever grateful for him. Oh, oh, I'm eternally grateful. I'm personally grateful. Like, 
there's things he's done for us as a player. Like, he could make us happy. He could, we, he could win a few games. He could win a Super Bowl. He could make Titans fans very happy. But what he's done for the rest of the world... <laughs> um, he's put mayonnaise on the map. Quick shout out to Gia as well. Motherfucker puts mayonnaise in his coffee and eats bananas with the peels on. Oh, yeah. The cunt's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought the weirdest oh, cunt he's done That's got to be Cap. Mayonnaise. Banana with the peel on is Cap. No, no he way. does it. No, we've seen it. It's, he it's, does it on the red. He also puts a mayo in his coffee, which makes no sense to me. Yeah, no, I, don't, I don't get that. Is that, that not the biggest white person that you've ever That heard? is <laughs> from that oh, caucus. That is, that's, that's how white that that's motherfucker is. Jesus. My caucus. That's Caucasian. That pronounce the Asian. <laughs> Caucasian. Um, but what it got me to think, the Hall of Fame game, got me to do a little bit of thinking. Ooh. A little bit of mind strumming, as one would say. And, uh, oh, you do like a good strum. I do like a good mind strum, okay? I do like a good mass debate too, um, which is what we do most weeks. We debate. Yes, we about do debate. About mass, mass topics. Masses of topics. <laughs> so you've got here first ballots. Yeah. So this is the next... These are guys who are first time eligible for the ne- for next year, who means they've been out of the league for five years. Right. It's Eli Manning, Terrell Suggs, Earl Thomas, Akeem Tlaib, Adam Vinatieri, Luke Kukli. Marshall Yanda. Obviously, there's a lot more than five, but they're kind of the five main guys. The big guy, the main big names, yeah. Do you think any of them are a first ballot? Yes. All right, who do you, who do you reckon's first ballot there, Brocky? Adam, Vin- Adam Vinatieri. Yeah, because he's an all-time leader in points. Eli Manning's a fucking chance. He's a two-time quarterback. Two-time uh, Super, Super, Bowl. Super Bowl winning quarterback. Yeah. Uh, mm. He's Mark Sanchez with a better team. <laughs> oh, we'll get I to bet, that. Oh, do, you, do, you know, do, you, do you know who Eli Manning is? And Luke Kigley should Eli, fucking be. Luke Kigley, I have first ballot. I think if Luke he played longer, he definitely would be a first ballot. Luke Luke Kigley was similar to Patrick Willis, who got in this year. Yeah. They both didn't have long, long careers. Patrick, Patrick like, Willis played for ten years. Ten years. That's not that long, though. No, me. it's not. For not really. But when you think about like other guys in the Hall of Fame, most yeah. of them longevity is a big part of it. It's sure. a massive thing but for it. Kigley yeah. was the best player in football for four or five years. How sure. many did they take each year? I think there's six players and then a and like, an exec like or an a coach, coach. Yep. and a yeah. coach or something. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yep. And then there's they, they put a media person in too, but they never seem. <laughs> the, the irony of that is their media hall of famers. They never seem to get any media because <laughs> they never mention them. Yeah, the media is voting for it this because who, because who gives a fuck? Like I don't know. I think that's the fucking jokiest thing of all time because the media are the ones that actually yeah, exactly. plead their case for the people to go into the hall of fame. Or well, the media and the hall of fame board. Yeah play the case for each person to go in each year. Do you guys think Earl Thomas is a Hall of Famer? Mm. His peak was pretty good. He's, he, he was in the Legion of Boom, which is I, the arguably way, the best defense ever. This is the way I look at it. This is the way I look at Hall of Fame. Talk to me, big dog. This is my own personal theory. Hit me with a cat. Can you... <laughs> I don't know why I called you cat. Yeah. Drink your fucking Maduri, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> don't you dare a talk. shot of Maduri, yeah. perhaps? <laughs> I love inside The jokes. way I think about, is this player Hall of Fame worthy? Mm. Can you tell the story of the NFL without mentioning this person? No, I don't think you can. If you can't, then they belong in the Hall of Fame. I don't think you can tell the story of the Seattle Seahawks, the 2000s, the, the Legion of Boom, yeah. without Richard Sherman, Earl Thomas and Cam Chancellor. Yeah. Well, then, well, then, by my logic, they belong in the NFL. They That's belong fair. in the Hall of Fame. I don't think it's the first ballot, but I think... No, no, no. I, 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 I think think we're not talking about first ballot. I'm just saying, do they belong in the yeah. NFL, in the Hall of Fame? It's that. Yeah. Yes. Well, I think the issue is, if he stayed in Seahawks his whole career mm. and finished in Seattle, and this is the same as uh, T. Sizzle as well, if he stayed at Baltimore... And actually finished in Baltimore rather than trying to chase a ring in KC. Yeah, yeah. They would be first ballot Hall of Famers for sure. I you stick to your club. Suggs is one of those weird dudes that was so good but also kind of irrelevant. Is Irre- that, is that irrelevant or relevant? Irrelevant. No. Why, why do you say irrelevant? Because I ju- like he won a defensive player of the year. Yeah, exactly. And I consistently how forget that, how's very that similar to Jason Taylor. I look at him very similar to Jason Taylor. They're both just like they, they shouldn't be forgettable, but, but they are. When people yeah. are like, oh, you remember Terrell Suggs? You're like, oh, See, yeah, I think your y- y- issue is that defense he's a part of. We had a lot of good players. Ray Lewis. Ed Reed. Ed Reed. Both first ballots. Yeah. Who was the big... Haloti Nada. Haloti Nada. He's already in the Hall of Fame. Yep. No, I, I'm, I'm on sizzle. Yeah, I, I think you should be a Hall of Famer. Because I looked at his numbers today and I was like... His dude numbers was, are fucking The dude was pretty dead. good. Like, he, he even said that like his first like six, seven years in the in the league, he didn't give a fuck about Pro Bowl or All, pro, pro, all Pros and shit like that. He just wanted fucking stats. Mm. He didn't give a fuck about winning games. He wanted stats because Ed Reed and fucking Ray Lewis is behind him yeah. going to carry the fucking water yeah, no in the shit. boats no shit. and fucking like live that team. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. He just wanted to get sacks. 
Yeah. NBA, he's the fucking just, spark plug for that defense too. You he's very that. similar to like same sort of guys like James Harrison for the Steelers. Yeah, but I don't know if James Harrison's a Hall of Fame yet. He might be. He should be. He's the same guy. Yeah. He, he might not get in because he used to cheap shot everyone. Good Al hated he, him. He he enjoyed a good cheap shot, yeah. but so did that steel. The whole Steelers defense did. Not our boy Troy. Troy Poller. Troy used to Troy love. Him. You know, Polamalu couldn't play today. The way he used to play, he couldn't play like that today. I, I agree. The way he used to play, yeah. But I think a lot of them would adjust because I've heard this conversation. Actually, this is a good. This is a good conversation Ooh. about a lot of players like that. See, from, George, you contribute. From I do 90s. fucking contribute, you motherfuckers. <laughs> God. Y'all are hating on me a lot lately, man. We 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 are probably we're all gonna fight. It's it's a, it's the LeBron James argument. Like, oh, he would have been, he wouldn't have been tough enough to play in the eighties. Oh, but would have anyone been athletic enough to play against him in? Like, he no one moved like him. Who, so. Who's who's dumb enough to say that? Oh, about there's LeBron? It's, but it's the same sort of arguments, right? So there's all these arguments for these guys that you know if you, they played back then. And this is the big thing, like. How many corners? The way you used to play, Champ Bailey, for example, he's just the first guy that comes to mind as a premier corner <coughs> in the two thousands. Yep. With all these new rules changes, yeah, if he played the way he used to play, he would have got flagged on every play. Yeah. But they they adapt. They yeah, adjust. no doubt. All, all I'm saying is that the way Palomalo used to play, he used that to fucking yeah. line people up from twenty five yards, man. Yeah. Like, he would have to learn pretty quick. He'd, yeah. And I but he, I reckon he could. Yeah, no doubt. No um, doubt. I got one more guy to talk about in here. Adam Vinatieri. You mentioned him. Do you know the only problem with Adam Adam Vinatieri being in the Hall of Fame? What? He's a fucking kicker. Who cares? He's the leading points. Yeah, leading no, leading point care. scorer. Leading in, point in scorer. In the oh, no, you've, I, I understand your argument. I just don't care. I, yeah, I don't care. Just because you don't care doesn't mean it's not a valid argument. See, bro. I think it's another situation of play too long, fucked up his stats. Maybe. Oh. He he was kicking at 91% for most of his career. Dude. Yeah, then went, dude. when he was in Indy, like these last three years, he missed that many field goals. Dude. He ended up like 83% field goal away. He's the all-time points oh, no. scorer. I reckon he should be fucking first He's ballot. First ballot, bro. He's got to be. So, I actually don't think he is the most points ever. I think yeah, he is. The Anderson is the kicker. Look up most points all time, bro. I reckon you'll find I'm right because he took and he took forever to get in the Hall of Fame. He only got in like maybe last year. Okay, is it Garrett Anderson or there's two of them? And they were on that they were on Sports Center for years. The kicker, he was a presenter on Sports Center. He's actually quite funny. Okay, shout uh, out. I could be wrong though. I, I have been been has got the so most career points with 2,633 uh, 2, points. Who's, who's that? that? Adam Vinatieri. Yeah, oh, who's second? Uh. Mark Anderson. Yeah. Yeah, Mark. That's what I'm thinking of. So you overtook him. Look, so I said I wouldn't be upset if you got him, but Who's the first ballot? Luke Cookley. If I had to pick one, Luke Cookley. I, I, I think Eli Manning will make the Hall of Fame, but I think Eli Manning is being remembered for all the wrong reasons. Oh, everyone always argument is, oh, he won two Super Bowls. Yeah. He fucking pissed in two Super Bowls. Yeah, he did. He did. He made a good play in one where he hit, where he didn't get sacked and hit through one of the worst passes you'll ever see, but Tyrod Taylor, Tyrod David Tyree. David Tyree. David Tyree. Tyree. Yeah. Made, a, the helmet made a great helmet catch. Helmet catch. That was unbelievable. But then in saying that... I like, remember watching that together like, what the fuck yeah. did we just see? But in saying that, Edelman made a terrific catch in Tom Brady's last Super Bowl for yeah. the Patriots. So it happens. But mm. I don't know. I think he's 10th all-time in passing yards. He played for a very long time. I like him. I'm more inclined in being a Hall of Famer now because I actually like him as a media personality. Yeah, he's, like, pretty yes. good. he's pretty I good really, on Sunday night. Yeah, thing. I really yeah, enjoy good. him. He's a good... He's funny... He seems like a really good bloke. His teammates all love him. Like he's never had a bad. I don't have a bad thing to say about him, but I think can again. But in in your theory is a good one, George. Can you write the NFL story without him? No, no you probably you can't. can't because you know what he beat. The he beat. He beat the goat. Yeah. That's twice, bro. Beat the sixteen and over. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the Randy Moss, Tom Brady, like they were. So yeah, I think on that on all the narrative, I think, a, I think, I think it's a solid theory, it. bro. I'm I'm pretty happy with but it. But I don't think I don't think he'll be a first ballot. I think if I can only pick one, anybody. With all that being said, if he was a first ballot, I'm not stopping. But not is, is it, Peyton yeah. Manning the first ballot though? Yeah, because Peyton Manning was yeah, and nah. is talked about yeah. as one of the best quarterbacks ever. Like you, you talk about the top quarterbacks ever in the NFL, Peyton Manning for 90 percent of people comes up. He'll he's be in the top he's, five. For he's sure. the top five yeah. for most people. Yeah, 100%. yeah. Whereas I don't think Eli's. Is, is Eli in the top 20? He, he's yeah, Philip, he's Philip Rivers with two Super Bowls. That's no, who Eli he, Manning is. He's that six to ten sort of like... Ah, oh, no, nah, he's not top ten. Quarterback. I don't think he's top ten quarterbacks. All nah. Time. No he's way. He's top ten quarterbacks of all time. Not all time. It's, I can name ten in the NFL right now that are better than him. No, but better for all time. It's like, yeah, there's, uh, there's, better, can, there's better quarterbacks in I reckon the, at I the can, moment. I reckon I could name 20 I like better than really? Eli. Yeah. Brady... Well, don't don't do it now. Manning, send it, far, make a graphic. No, no, no. Send it in. Send, Ma- it in. send it in. Make it in. Make a graphic. No, I can't make it. Like, every time I make send graphics, everyone bullies me. Exactly. 
We want to make you come. I just thought it was seven. Thought it was seven. Who do you think is better? Don't bully James Lane. online. He'll come. Whoa. Pause. Jesus. Uh, Gary. <laughs> uh, all right, let's talk. I reckon Marshall is on a 50 50 as well. For a first Marshall Yander will be a Hall of Fame, but he won't be 50. He won't be. He's and this is what shoots me, right? Adam Vinatieri will get. Marshall Yander was the best guard in football for 10 for years. For 10 right? years, yeah. yeah. That's why I said it. Adam Vinatieri was the best kicker yeah, in football for 10 years. Yonder fucking dog, Marshall Yander bro. won't get in because he's a fucking offensive lineman yeah. and Vinatieri is a kicker because he kicked biased. game winning goals. We kick game winning field goals. What shits me is what Marshall Yander did was so much more valuable to his team than Ben Terry ever was. Yeah, Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, kickers are what kickers are. Like, I don't fucking care about him. They need. They need. They have mentally the toughest job in football, but physically the easiest. True. They never get hit. All they really, if they just can put their blinders on and imagine there's no one coming, because realistically, if the kick gets blocked for them. They shouldn't even know it's going to get blocked until the ball gets hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Just they don't have to worry. They should yeah. never worry about that. They should, and the best kickers don't. They a just lo- kick it like no one's. A there. lot of the time, if the kick does get blocked, it's not really their fault. It's either. never their fault unless they take forever to kick it. But yeah. they don't. These guys don't. They no, don't. these guys got the routine. So that, that's happened. my opinion on kickers. Like the really good ones, like the Justin Tuckers and that. Like I, I respect them as good kickers. But at the end of the day, they're always going to lose. A, when it comes to these sorts of things, like the Hall of Fame, if you've got to ask me to pick any one of the any one of those guys over Adam Vinatieri as a first ballot, I'm taking any of the others. Yeah, yeah. I see. I, I see that. I like, see that. Make a special. Like I would prefer. Like Devin Hester was the first ever kick returner to get in. Yeah. And you know what? I, I don't was, hate I that. Was that. I wasn't that for it. No, I, I, I don't mind that. The dude scored 11 touchdowns in his career. Yeah. 20. 20 was it? Yeah, he had 20 kick. Uh, kick or punt touchdowns. Okay, so 20 return touchdowns. He has like, the record. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying he's bad, but at what point do we start going, all right, well, he's one of the best players ever. He's fucking not. Yeah. I, I kind of feel like if you have hey, a record... Can you tell the story without him? Yes. Yes. Comfortably. Oh, he's got the no, record. When, when have you ever brought up... De- he's got the record, that's true. When have you ever brought up Devin Hester in a conversation about football? Right the, now, the time Colts, Other than right now. When Colts won a premiership. Or, or no, so when Colts lost? When I'm, no, when I'm, when Colts when I'm, won. The Colts won and Hester returned the opening kickoff for yeah. a touchdown. Yeah. And then, you know what? They still fucking lost. Yeah. Yeah. That's how important Whenever I'm was. watching the Bears and I'm like, don't kick it to Hester. That's the only time I mention him. Yeah, exactly. Like I'd say, I don't think he's a bad player, but fuck me. There's like it, a if he did thousand more. better players. Because if, if he was really good, do you know what he would have played? Fucking, fucking wide receiver. receiver. Wide right receiver, DB or slot. He got, he got drafted as a cornerback. And I, again, not saying he's a bad player. I'm just being kind of being the bad guy here that... The, I the like Hall of Fame, they just fucking, they just throw people in there for the sake of throwing him in there. Yeah, he holds the record. I actually think Kadaro Patterson owns, holds the record now. Okay. He holds one of them, either punts or kick returns. Okay. He broke one. So what, does Kadaro Patterson get in automatically? Oh, that's... Because i got to tell you, is he one of the best football players ever? No. Fuck no. No, you could definitely tell the story. Does Percy him. Harvin get into the Hall of Fame because he returned a kickoff for a touchdown after the halftime for the Seahawks and won that won that Super Bowl for them. Does Jacoby Jones get in? Does Jacoby Jones get in because he made that big play over the top of Raheem uh, Moore and Champ Bailey what? to get and, into the Super Bowl? And, and, ret- and return one after halftime do, do you know, to that's put what the nail like, in the coffin on him. Can, I, like, I can't write the story of the NFL without Jacoby Jones because because of that play, the miracle in, 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 mile, high. in mile, high. The mile High. And when Tomlin tripped him up running down the sideline. That's line. right, yeah. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> and went, oh, shit, I didn't know I was on the field. Oh, no, I was watching on the big screen. That, I thought he was down the other side. Like, be, shut the fuck up, That may Tomlin. be my favourite Tomlin movie. Shout out to Mike T- Tomlin. Tomlin's story, because he's like the dude that's got caught by his missus fucking another girl, and he's like, nah, that wasn't me. Uh, dude, wait a minute, of- I thought it was you. <laughs> You're not... What are you doing here? <laughs> Michael Jamison, as I live and breathe. Yeah, that was Tomlin. Let's move on to our next... My, this is going to be oh, my favourite topic go, of the night. Go, George. Take us so away. my boy, Harrison Bucker. Harrison Bucker, kicker. Up, yeah. Kicker, not not but liquor, because the God wouldn't respect that. As signs, delicious as it is. Signs a four-year, $25 million yeah. extension. Pause. Are we sure about that? Is that, is that against the Bible? Yeah. Well... I haven't, I, haven't read it, I haven't read it cover to cover. Whoever, so whoever reads the Bible, send from, that in. From what I know... As long as he's not licking another dude's asshole, he he cool, he chill. Shout out. But it also depends on like what part of the Bible religion you look at, because ah, it's, it's real classic. up and down, real left and right. I don't know. So, so that makes him the highest paid kicker ever. It'd have to be, yeah. It's the highest paid kicker now. So it wasn't Tucker the highest paid kicker a few years ago. Uh, so let I'd me, say let me get on this. A lot of money. Every player that gets re-signed right now is the highest paid oh, player. Everyone. Yeah, yeah, everyone's just going crazy. Who was Tristan Wirfs? Oh my god, I just remember Tristan Wirfs' name. Yeah, all the time. Remember how I always get his name wrong from the Bucks? Uh, Tristan Wirfs just. He signed last week the most uh, highest paid tackle ever. Oh, wow. Okay. That's what happened. These guys are just all jumping each other. Yeah. And he's worth it. Like, he's a really good player. And Buck, Buck is a good kicker. So He's a great kicker. Yeah. Absolute star kicker. 
And, and I like how you put the note here, snowflakes go wild. Mate, I read a thread on Instagram today. Oh, here we go. Because I couldn't help myself. Because yeah. I was feeling good and wanted to tear my life apart. Yeah, of course. Feel, yeah, I, I, wanted, I wanted to leave I wanted feeling to soak shit. in some negativity. Yeah. So I started reading it. And, and where else me. on social media can you soak in some negativity? I, I just got to say, man, some of these fucking people, it's like, why are you putting so much energy into what a kicker's getting paid from yeah. the Kansas City Chiefs? Yeah, yeah. It's clearly they have, they have not a lot going on in their lives. It is outrageous to me. It's like, yeah. who, who cares? Yeah. And this well, is like... Well, they care, obviously. Don't get me wrong. I, and I've said this many times. I didn't agree with everything Harrison Bucker said. But I also think he was allowed to say what he's he fucking wants. He's allowed to say what he wants. He's yeah. done nothing. As, as, as another podcast I listen to and maybe star on quite frequently. Star on? Here we go. <laughs> offense is not a fucking <laughs> crime. If you, like, unless he's actually physically done something that's like illegal to you. Shut the fuck well, up and well, get clear, over it. Clearly what he can do is kick a football world yes, because otherwise he ain't paid. getting paid $25 million oh, to do he, it. They should cut, what was it? Was That that was this off season, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, they were going to cut, was, they were going to get cut. cut yeah. If the Chiefs really cared, they'd cut him. They really cared. No, and and I, love the, I love that fuck you from the Chiefs. Not only did they not cut him, but they've made him the highest paid ever. That's a real kick to it's the ball. just <laughs> fucking, if you're one of those people. Hey, shout out to Harrison. Good for him. Yeah, great for Harrison. And great for the Chiefs. Yeah, great because he's a good kicker. Fucking nice. Great kicker. But if you're one of those people now, that fucking care this much about it, this is my second favorite, favorite topic of the night because now me and Brocky are really going to fight. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Do, do you want me to lead this topic? Please in do. You please two, do. Do you want me to read? While the I brawl? glove up, I'm going to glove up. Do you want me to <laughs> read the brawl you two decided yeah. oh, to fucking I have? I don't know. We need to read the brawl, but just give me George the brawl said, strokes. "Fuck you, you stupid ass bitch." Oh no, that's a different chat. Different chat. That's just me and George. My bad. My bad. My bad. Is that one we're complaining about, Carlton? <laughs> Must be. Mm, don't start me on that. Let's not, let's not um, it's Please, actually let's not. Uh, Jake Elliott is the highest paid kicker. Okay. Is he really? So total value of 24 mil. Average 6 mil a year. Yuck. Uh, kickers. Gross. Yuck. Uh, Mark Sanchez. So George was seeing in the group in our chat that Mark Sanchez has won more playoff games than Dak Prescott, Lamar Jackson, Kirk Cousins. There's a few. There's a few, few big names there. Yeah, they picked, Justin Herbert. They picked four or five that have never won one. That's, yeah, but they're all big name, big name quarterbacks on big money. That's true. I'll get it up. Let's get it up. Almost got it. Uh, also, oh, how good was fucking Josh Allen in the Black Bills helmet? Yeah, he's a star. Oh, I'm, I'm about the black helmets. He's oh. a star, bro. So Tall, you don't. So white. you don't like the white helmets? I don't like the whites. It's very 2024 of you, Brocky. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Tall, white, handsome gunslinger, man. He has won more playoff games than Lamar Jackson, Dak Prescott, Kyle Murray, Derek Carr, and Kirk Cousins combined. Mm. Keep in mind. Of, he has five playoff wins. Four. He has four. He has four. Wins. So and Lamar Jackson runs. and Dak Prescott both have two wins each. Kyle Murray, who I don't believe has ever made the playoffs. He has. Uh, once. He, he's 0-1 in playoffs. Okay. Derek Carr has made the playoffs. Yeah, he's 0-2, sure. I think. Unfair, because he didn't play in that playoff game. Remember when, they, when the Texans beat him? Because he, he was literally going to win the MVP. It was, was very similar to the Carson Wentz season. He was dead. And broke his wrist like That's right. six yeah, games yeah, yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. Broke his right. back. Brack was it? Yeah, you got back. I broke my back. My Spank. back is broken. Kirk, <laughs> Kirk Cousins has been in plenty of playoff games and can't fucking. Kirk Cousins not only can't win playoff games, he can't win prime time games. He can't uh, win a Monday night game, bro. Nah, that, that, that was three years ago. He's changed now. His record's actually not too bad. Since yeah, he's now. not bad in prime time, except if he plays the Giants in the playoffs. Yes, the Battle of the Pretenders. That yeah. was yeah. He should have won that game. But when they brought us to the discussion of. And okay, I'm not going to read the chat because you had a little bit of a sookie poo poo no. cry baby. Well, I didn't have a sookie. So we went through, is this, George said, is this accurate? And we were like, yeah, it's accurate. Lamar and Dak, both have two. How many Sanchez got four? And I said he went to two AFC Championship games. That's where he's four. He, he's had two runs. That's all he had. He okay. had two runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, my argument was, and I, it was actually funny enough, it was my argument. I said that he... You said his defense he was got in there. useless. He played on a team with one of the best defenses mm. of that era. No definitely. doubt. No doubt. With Rex Ryan, who... Sorry, with... Rex Ryan? Yeah, Rex Ryan. Rex Ryan. Rex yeah, Ryan. Was Rex Ryan. Who's his brother that was the Cowboys coach? Rob Ryan? Rob, Rob Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. yeah, so it was Rex Ryan. Um, and their defense was unbelievable. They had a great running game. They, they had Thomas Jones. They had some really, really, really good football players, yes. right? My argument Revis. is that... Yeah, Revis, to name... Um, who was the middle linebacker that was like, can't wait, can't wait, Bart Scott. Bart Scott. Was, yeah, Bart, Bart Scott. They had so many good players, man. And that's what I mean. My yeah, argument no doubt. was that... No doubt. These these things, like yeah, Prescott, Lamar, whatever. They haven't won. They've won up two playoff games. All those other guys haven't. I would argue that if you'd put any of those quarterbacks that he named mm. onto that 
but team, that they Jets probably team, win the AFC they, prob- they probably win the Super Bowl. <laughs> probably, That's how yeah. good that Jets team was. He was the only weak link on those teams. Yeah, no doubt. Hence the fact that he never made it past his fifth year in the NFL. Yeah. So you think let us think in. He went to two AFC championship games in his on his rookie deal, so in his first four seasons. Yeah, that's, the Sanchez, probably, that's why they And then after his defense, fifth though. season, after his fourth season, he never played for the Jets again. And after his fifth season, he was never a starter again. Mm. He was just a, a basically he was a shitter gardener Minshew. He was back he was a backup in Philly he at was, one point, wasn't he? He was Brian Hoyer, yeah. basically. <laughs> oh. He was Brian Hoyer without without Tom Brady's Daddy, think, without Bill O'Brien taking him from team to team with him, that's think, all he was. I think Brian yes. Hoyer might be a bit more accurate, man. <laughs> yeah, like that's what I mean. Like he's he was so shit that he didn't last more than five years in the NFL. Yeah, no, he was a great college player, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I, this, Wait, was he, what did he play? USC, USC, USC. Yeah. And then your response was wins are wins. A wins a win, but it is though. Yeah. So all right. So no, Mahomes done all right. Done all right. So Mahomes. They don't draw pictures. They write W or L. Yeah, okay. And in his W playoff column, mm. he's got four. Yeah. So that's all I'm saying. That's so, all I'm saying. So, 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 he's so the one who got his knickers in a knot, not me. No. You did get your knickers in a knot. You, you got your knickers in a knot. I, I, said, I don't want to say what you said, but they're still you in a said, knot, bro. Fuck off, George. Yeah, that's what he said. I remember. You said, shut, you said, fuck off, George, shut the fuck up. Like, bro, facts yep. are facts, numbers are numbers. No, but it's playoff wins are like fucking push up bras. Mm. They make shit Maybe. look good. Shit. <laughs> but when you take them away, how good was the fucking quarterback? No, the boobs. Oh, well, how, the how, how, no, but if you take away the playoff wins from Sanchez. Hold on, I'm confused. Start again. Explain okay, to think, me like I'm a four-year-old. I think, I think Brock is having a stroke. <laughs> no, are no, the no. boobs part of the team or are they the, are the nipples the quarterback? Nipples. <laughs> this is the better analogy. Playoff wins are like, are like, yeah, are like, are off are like push-up right bras. When you take them off, there's boobs and nipples and quarterbacks are the nipples. Bro, all I said was... <laughs> It still goes down as a win in his fucking column. That's all I said. Yes. Am I wrong? No, you're right. That's you, all I'm you, saying. You, you but, this is, but it's very unlike you because you're normally the guy who tears people down for their successes, and I hated it. <laughs> the the issue I I'm had... I'm turning a new leaf, bro. I'm, I'm trying to be more positive. George, man. the issue I had was with the changing of the goalposts on how you evaluate quarterbacks. How would, I evaluate so a quarterback. Would, would you say he's a good quarterback? No, he's not a good quarterback. All I said was he's got more fucking wins. That's it. <laughs> I've never said he's good. But is Lamar a push-up, bro? <laughs> Lamar's, Lamar's a running back, bro. Lamar's, Lamar's, <laughs> the tit, Lamar's tits. He's the nipple. <laughs> no, he's the tits. And he's a real fine one. All right, all right, all right. Clean areola. So, so is a, is a, are, we, are, we, are we still beefing or are we good? Pissed? I don't know. I actually am sure I can understand why we're beefing. We kind of all agreed. <laughs> He's the one who starts fucking jumping on my throat, bro. I just told you to shut the fuck up. I think I think he was just ready for you. We all wanted the negativity from you, and you didn't bring it. Trying to be yeah. positive, bro. I wanted you I'm to be like, you yeah, leave. you're right. What a fucking spastic. How dare he have four wins next to his name? Like if someone mentions Tom Brady, and you're like, fumble, uh, fumble, t- but, tuck, rule. tuck rule, tuck rule, Julian Mi- Edelman. Edelman. Yes. Yes. Edelman. <laughs> so how can you do that for Brady, but not for fucking uh, fuck Mark t- Sanchez? Fuck Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There it is. Patrick Mahomes. Sorry, I'm just sorry. I'm trying to be positive. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> you got. Hey, stop baiting me, you bastard. I'm trying to be positive. Stop no, this it. This is our point. Is it? it was just unlike you. We were like, like how, can, how like, can George be actually going to back up that? That's Mark what Sanchez. That's now. what pissed me off the most. I'm like, is he seriously backing up fucking the Sanchez? The first, I, when I said it, I was. I thought you were going to be like. Yeah, you're right. What nah, the fuck? fuck? That guy's a piece of shit out there. Has he got four wins? He's, he's real handsome though. He, he is handsome. Like He's, yeah. he's got that like half cholo sort of. Oh, yeah, is yeah, cholo oh, yeah. a bad word? Can we yes. Say, can we say cholo? No. It's our podcast. We say whatever the fuck we want, bro. Is cholo rude? Cholo's rude. Is it? Yes. I don't think cholo's rude. Cholo's rude. I want eight. There's I'll, another Mexican word that's rude. I'm going to do some like, research. I think cholo's okay. I think cholo's chill. I'll, I'll get back to you. Alejandro, let us know if cholo's I think, I think cholo's, cholo's, cholo? like, I think cholo's any, like. What's hey, that, Toca? Have we got any Mexican words? Toca rude? Toca might be rude. Toca's definitely rude. Is Toca rude? You called him Oose. You hit him with a oh, sub oos. I am sorry to every Islander I've ever met for saying Toka. I, I thought it, I thought it was a term you've of ever met is a good start. I thought it was a term of endearment. I think it might be their cunt. Oh, so they call everyone a cunt? 
You're going to kill right. me. So, <laughs> last topic for the night. No wonder they all fucking hate me. No <laughs> shit. I thought it was nice. Hang on. To be honest, to be fair though, the list of reasons why people hate you is very long. You're right. That's, that's only the, one of. That's the least of things I can do. Amen. If, if Toka was the worst thing I've ever said on a football field, then it's probably, yeah. it's probably the nicest thing you've said. I would sleep at night <laughs> quite comfortably. <laughs> last topic. NFL yes. top 100 came out. Oh, the Top yes. 10. Are we going to go through the top 10? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's yeah, go let's go to the top, top 10. 10. All right. Actually, uh, before we go through this, I have seen the best fucking like ooh. cartoon clip for this. And I'll, I'll post it on our fucking uh, Instagram tomorrow morning. Please. It's a patch of homes. It's fucking hilarious. I'll, I'll send it tomorrow to the list. Great. Shout out. Um, first of all, the first one I want to bring up with the, so the quarterbacks got released. Oh, yeah, yeah, I want yeah. to talk about the quarterbacks first. And one in particular, because I brought this up because... They basically went ranked like this. It was Lamar at two, Mahomes at four, which we'll talk about in the top 10. Yep. Allen at 12, Hertz at 15, mm-hmm. Prescott at 16, Stroud 20, Brock Purdy at 28, Jordan Love 34, Tua 36, Burrow 39, which again is outrageous. He barely played. Yep. Stafford 42, Jared Goff 48, Justin Herbert 75, Kirk Cousins 81, who played three games last year, Aaron Rodgers at 92, who played three Please plays snap. last year. He played three year. downs, yeah. Three and snaps. Trevor Lawrence at 94. And what I said was, how is Jalen Hurts the fourth ranked quarterback in the top 100? Mm. It's ridiculous. And I think I said he should. the fact that he's above all these players, which was wrong. He should be above a few of them. That was the, is, I, is that the word you used? The wall, I'm pretty no, sure you called him a running back he as you said it. On, no, on, I didn't call him a running back. On, perf- on talent? Are we talking about talent or on, on, on last year's performance? Last year's performance. That's what this is okay. meant to be rated off. So on last year's performance, Prescott is ahead of Hurts because he had a much better season. Yeah, I think Tua is too. Yeah, Tua had a good I season I think Stroud too. is. Stroud had a good season as well. I think Brock Purdy is. Hurts had a good start. He had a good first 10 Jeez, games. First, yeah, you're right. He, he fell off the cliff late. He fell off Whereas the cliff. Whereas Jordan Love was left that, nah, that bit bad of, early. It, it, just wasn't, it just wasn't Hurts falling off a cliff. They, it, it, no, it was, was the whole hurt. fucking team. He was hurt. He, he did have an ankle injury. Yeah. injury. And, and, and I think he had a I'll, rib as well. I'll let, I'll let that slide. But their offense was so fucking predictable. I also remember watching the Eagles like later in that last year and thinking that Hurts was about the only one actually fucking trying. Trying, yeah. But he was almost trying too hard. Yeah. They're, they're he wanted like, to do everything. It was That's AJ true. Brown throwing the toys out of the cot. Yeah. yeah. And then Dallas Goddard couldn't catch a fucking cold. Yeah. They, they, couldn't, ra- they couldn't block anyone. Yeah. They Swift ran couldn't a fucking run a ball high anymore. offense. Yeah. And everyone just and worked everyone it out. Everyone just worked it out. Shot me. Yeah. NFL defensive coordinator has worked out. But I think, I think right. Hurts is 15. Eight or 10 weeks was good. But I think Prescott had a better year. Oh yeah, Prescott had better. But they were only one apart. Like, Prescott but he, uh, like what I'm saying is he should be above. Yeah, I, I think I think Stroud should have. I think Love shouldn't have. Tua, the fact. But then again, the fact that fucking Kirk Cousins, Aaron Rodgers, why are they even Burrow, on the list? Yeah, like is it? It's so this. This is purely play, based off last season. It is player voted. Yeah, and this is why when you know when players, if a player ever says to any of us or anyone, "Oh, you guys never played the game. You don't have any right to judge." But use this as your evidence why we should be able to judge yeah. and they shouldn't. Yes. Because the fucking idiots play against these guys and yeah. can't even work out who's good or not. Yeah. yeah. It's outrageous. Or they just vote for their mates. Rogers getting on the list playing three downs is crazy. Well, it's, outrageous. What are they, top 20 they vote? They do a top 20. Top, no, 20. top 20. I actually have never learned how they actually do it all. I'm assuming it's a top 20, which I know they do. Yeah. And then, like, if you get one vote, you get, like, a certain amount of points. Surely. So yeah. like each player gets a certain amount of points right. for it, how they vote. It would be ranking. It would be ranking from you one to twenty. But, but, but this is what I want to know, right? In is, what world was Trevor Lawrence on anyone's top twenty? How yeah. how could he have been? In what world was Kirk Cousins on anyone's top twenty players? If they were doing that list seriously, it should be maybe forty players get a vote. Yeah. It shouldn't fluctuate like they shouldn't. They shouldn't be able to get a hundred names mm. out of everyone only giving out twenty. Of, votes. Out of twenty players, does yeah. that make sense? Am How I, is I'm that such a big discrepancy of names? So yeah, I mean, I know who what the saying, fuck's yeah. putting these guys on their yeah. list? Like, so the, the top ten. We can talk about the top. Yeah, 10. Let's do the top ten. Let's do it. So Max Crosby was number ten. Oh, I don't hate that. Uh, no, I didn't hate it. He, I actually think he should have been higher. He was almost one of the best. If he was on the Cowboys last year, he was Defensive Player of the Year. That's yeah, how good okay. he was. He was he just was, under the radar. He was very good. Travis Kelsey was number nine. Again, it does it does account for playoffs as well. Yeah, keep that in mind. He had his worst statistical season ever. Yeah. last year, which is fine. Like he he wasn't bad by any way, but the play, people were kind of like, "How's Kelsey in the top?" Two? His playoffs were unbelievable. Yep, he turned it up a notch for the playoffs. Turned it up in the second half of that Super Bowl. So too. before we get through this, um, yeah. around a thousand players vote late in the regular season, Thanksgiving through New Year's okay. is when they generally vote. Okay, yep. Then it's yeah, number one gets twenty points, and then two's nineteen. 
and so on, so on. Right, okay. So okay. you're telling me how many... Uh, so whether Trevor Lawrence got a few votes. Yep. Say Aaron Rod, uh, he how there must be a bunch of dudes that are on one vote that someone's put yes, their I, I feel like that is. And then how do they fucking describe... Like, yeah. It's so yeah. unclear that it's just a media-driven bullshit. I, like, I think, I think hey, that's what we're talking situation. about. We're fucking talking we're about We're talking about it. I think that's the situation That's why I'm talking well. about the top 10, because I think you should only look at the top 20 sort of things. <gasps> yeah, mm. top 20. Maybe the top 30, because the top 30, you're going to have a lot of people who put them in their top 20. Yes. Sure. You also can't vote for your own teammates. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I, I didn't know that either, actually. Then. Can't vote for your own teammates or yourself. Cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. Imagine that. They'd just be, everyone would just put themselves as number one. Number one. They'd be That's like, oh my God, everyone got 20 votes. <laughs> <laughs> everyone got 20 points. Um, all right. TJ Watt was number eight. Again. No, not bad. Yep. Not bad. This one I had a bit of a problem with. Trent Williams was number seven. Oh, I think Trent Williams had his... And in he's fairness, worked, yep. he's like 36 years old. Mm. I think he had his worst season ever last year. I do not think he was as good as he has been the last year. Yeah, but the Niners were good, though. That's the thing. If you're doing... And this is how I look at this, right? If you're doing a draft tomorrow, are you taking Trent... If Trent, Trent Williams is sitting there, it's 36-year-old Trent Williams is sitting there at pick seven going into next season. Are you, are you taking him mm. at the seventh pick in the draft? No. That's... Uh, I don't know. I think they got it wrong. I think he's a really good player. I think he's had a great career, but I don't think he was the seventh best player in the league last year. Respectfully. Yeah. No, he he was good on a good team. Yes. Chris Jones was number six. Again, good, good on a good team. He was a, a good really team. good player. He he probably gets some points because when he held out, they were terrible the first couple of games. Yeah, yeah. They came back and like, let's get it. this yeah. motherfucker back because yeah. we suck without him. His uh, reaction of actually finding out where he got voted as well is fucking hilarious. Was he happy or sad? He was so happy. Happy tissues or sad tissues? <laughs> Both, I reckon. Yeah, Both. Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> uh, he was six. Top five. Miles Garrett at five. Uh, Deep boy, fair enough. Hard to argue. Yep. Hard to argue. Uh, this is when it gets real hairy. For Patrick Mahomes. Patty Mahomes was the fourth, four, was not, the fourth best mm, player in the league. Yeah. My playoffs hatred, included. My hatred for Patrick play, Mahomes. No, play, playoffs isn't included. Oh, no, it's done before playoffs. It's done New Year's to... Oh, Thanksgiving to New Year's. New Year's. Oh, yeah. okay. So, like, it's the... Not the season's before, not even over yet. Yeah. That's why Hurts is number 15. Yeah. Yeah. Because at that point, they were 11-1. Yeah, they were, yeah, 10-1 or something. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is outrageous. That's the stupid shit I've ever heard. Do we, anyway, do okay. we boycott the NFL now? <laughs> That's it. Look, we're doing the UFL <laughs> as much as the UFL vault. Like I, I could survive that a lot of things in my life. And, and not the yeah. If we turned this camera around and showed you this room, it'd be very clear to everybody you can't survive. It's, it's that very, I can't survive without the NFL. If, so if I didn't know you had two, I've got, man. if I didn't know you had two kids, I would heavily think so, you're a Okay, so based on based yes. on what Brock's Correct. saying, Correct. based on what Brock's saying. You missed that. Oh, I did miss it. I'm trying to. I'm trying to stay on track. You got your action said, figures said, like you said. Looking virgin. around your room, if I didn't know you had two kids, I'd think you were a virgin. <laughs> it, it's it's real. Uh, it's real. Forty year old virgin, Steve Carell. Like you, you go. got your action figures. And how how much, how badly do you want this room? You got your office. Just, pop, just be honest. Pop figures. How badly, a little bit, do you want this stuff in this room? I would sleep in this room. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you will sleep in here. So damn. Go, go, going baby. back to what your yeah, point. Yeah, cool. Patrick Mahomes. It pulls out. But if it's only if it's only a, a regular season thing, yeah. Wow. Um, he's probably about right. He's probably about right because his his regular season wasn't fantastic. I fucking I've just changed my whole perspective. Also, you're still Patrick Mahomes. If anyone's drafting, a, if anyone's doing a draft, not taking Patrick Mahomes. As the yeah, first but we're, pick. we're not talking about that though. It's about his performance in the regular season. Yeah, so it was probably fair. Fourth it's, was probably fair. Yeah. In saying that, like it's probably high in fairness because his season he they was, weren't especially the first half of yeah, the season he was they weren't average like, yeah. at best. Really, the, def- the defense was winning him a lot of games and keeping him in games too. How the fuck is Jalen Hurst not higher on this list from the first ten games? Yeah, it's fair. Well, I don't think even I don't think Prescott had started hitting his stride yet because Prescott didn't start hitting his stride until they beat Philly. That and they were second all, game that was like yeah, week yeah, yeah. twelve, week thirteen. Yeah, when they they drummed yeah, Philly like after their bye. Yeah, and well, it was like when I whoa. when I said they'll win the division and George said no, nah, the Eagles have won. Going to win the division. Well, we're 10 and 1, dude. Like, what do you want me to say? Fair. He had all the evidence against him. Called it. <laughs> yeah. Called it. That's true. You've called, all, you've called a lot of things. <laughs> called a lot if, of things. If you want me to start keeping receipts, like, we can go all night. Keep the receipts. Keep the receipts. Uh, make the boy watch. Um, <laughs> number the boy watch. <laughs> number three, Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I've was, got no issue with that. Yeah, was, the, these, these next, like, the top three, I have no real issue with pretty how, fun. which order they're in. Pretty fucking good. Lamar, number two. Yeah. Yep. Last year he was ranked 72. 
Oh, he was injured a lot. Yeah, yeah, I know, but just a massive jump. Like yeah. you, look, you look at all the others, yeah. all these other guys. Like, oh, McCaffrey was thirty-five and he's three this year. He he was number one after twenty nineteen. Yeah, true. When he won the MVP. When he won also, the MVP. also, Lamar's like real good. Like if he's playing well, or playing like he's fit and playing, he should be fucking number two. Mm. Yeah, Tyreek number one. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't like Tyreek Hill number one. No, but he's on. like we, saying that we don't care if you bash kids. N- he, no, but no, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, okay, fair enough. We don't condone that. But you got to remember, like through eleven weeks, we don't condone it. We don't. Okay. We don't condone it. We, we don't. <laughs> Do not. Okay, cool. <laughs> After the first like 11, 12 weeks, you got to remember he was on track to fucking break two thousand yards. That's true. He was. There he was, was. Tic- there was TikToks of like school kids like adding up like what he like the yards he had. Taking it all away You're from right. his like two thousand total, You're right. and like how many more he had to average to make two thousand yards. You're right. He was a fucking world beater. I'm not saying he's not a good player. player. He's clearly a good player. I just really it's, wish it's, that's what? another system situation for me. Mm. Well, he did it at the Chiefs. No, he was good at the Chiefs. Do you know who's going to be? But they, you, if if you line him up out wide and just go, oh, get open. How much is he going to get open compared to if you run him in motion? Give him a fucking ten yard fucking head start on every other fucking yeah, defender. But that's, but that's to get his coaching. top speed. That's, yeah. just no, good that's, coaching. that's, that's, that's what I mean. It's great coaching. But if he's just lining up in a slot or out wide, I don't think that's McDaniel's he, using using the tool. But this that is what he's I'm got. saying. That's, that's a good. system. Good, good. I feel like you're rubbing it in because I have to watch the Cowboys offense, which is just Mike Prescott, and, Prescott and CD Lamb. Literally being like, we have to be the best players out here. Yes, like, yes we, we don't have to beat the them, but we've got to beat our own coach here. Yeah, yeah. that's how bad the coaching was. McCarthy's like, got to go. Sure. Could you imagine if CD Lamb got in the Miami Dolphins or the 49ers scheme? <sighs> It'd be fucked. CD Lamb on the 49ers would he'd get he'd be so, he'd be unreal actually. <laughs> See, Brett, they 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 said today that Brent and I, who's reported to camp now, that he's 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 reported because you know why. Needs Con- his fucking yeah, money. No shit. That's yeah. That was always going to happen anyway. Don't These worry guys that hold out, like, if my agent said to me, hey, um, I reckon you should hold out, I'd be like, you paying the bill? Nah, bro. Would it be the agent? I think the player would be saying, I want to hold out, and the agent would be saying, mm. you got to get back to fucking work. Nah. I guarantee you the agent would be telling him to hold out. You yeah, reckon? Yeah, the agent would go, we'll get a deal. No, hold out. We'll get a deal. Okay. It's a tactic. It's a tactic. Okay. Nah, report. Fucking do your job. Do your fucking job. Yeah. Just do your fucking it's job, stupid. do your work, get fucking you know paid what? when you get paid. Unfortunately for wide receivers, like Brandon Ayuk, that level, tier two wide receivers, sure. which is yeah. tier two, yeah. high level tier two he was last year, but it wouldn't shock me if he's a like, tier three sort of guy this year. Rice is not going to be happy with that. Josh Rice, he's... he's Brandon not. Ayuk's a tier two receiver. He's coming for you. Debo Samuel's a high tier two receiver and a high tier two running back. Yeah. That's what makes him so special. Yeah. He's caught, he's caught out Patterson. Yeah, he's better, Cordell Barrows. Yeah, much better. Yeah. And, oh, much better. Absolutely much put, better. You it's put, the same situation. You put Debo Samuel on the fucking Cowboys, I guarantee you had like 350 receiving yards last year. Mm. That yeah. motherfucker can't get open on his own. No. That's why it's so perfect. It works. But anyway, like Brandon Ayuk, these guys are going to start realizing their receivers, they're actually a fucking dime a dozen. Yeah, someone tier will get paid. Tier two yeah. and t- high level tier three receivers, there's 30 of them each draft. Yeah. They are becoming, like I think in five or six years time, receivers are going to find it harder to get paid. Not to the point with running backs, but they're going to find it harder to get paid because there's so many of them. Yeah. Teams now in colleges, most teams start four wide receivers. Yeah. Whereas in the past, it was two, maybe three. Now it's four guys. Yeah, they run that air raid lot. Tile system. Like, yeah. how many receivers just getting drafted out of Alabama? Like, yeah. There's five wide receivers from that champi- the championship team in Alabama five years ago, all playing in the NFL right now. Same with that as Cooper, well. Waddle. Devontae Smith, there's three of them. Yeah. They're all in the NFL, like starting in the Henry NFL. Henry Ruggs was what, another Henry one. Henry Ruggs. Like, was Judy Alabama? Possibly. I feel like Judy was Alabama too. Yeah. Either way, but there's, there's so many, it's like every year these big time colleges is producing more top two. There's seven or eight wide receivers going in the there's, first round. Every there's year. always a couple wide receivers out of fucking Florida. Puka Nakua. College. Get him in the fifth. You know, Tyreek Hill was a third round pick from community college because I don't know if you know, he locked his girlfriend who was pregnant in the bathroom oh, and then beat the fuck out of her until the cops came and arrested him and that's why he had to go play Juco. Just so you guys are aware what he actually did back then. Um, yeah, as we've said on this bloke. podcast before, mm. just because you are a terrible person does not mean you can be good at football and vice versa. Oh, he's very good at football. Just yeah. because you're very good at football does not mean you are he a good person. He treated his wife head like a football, I believe. That's what the No, that was uh, Kareem, Kareem Hunt. <coughs> Kareem Hunt, the kicker. So, tick the kicker. <laughs> We're happy? 
Yeah, he's a top, he should have been in the top few. Like I said, any of those three roundabouts are pretty good. Yeah, those top three or four can interchange. Maybe. Really, that top five. Me personally, like I, think, I think McCaffrey or... should have been number one. He would he would have been my number one for sure. He was instrumental for the 49ers. Yeah, you you leave that team as it is. Yep. and just take out McCaffrey. Do they make a Super Bowl? No, no. Well, history has told us they couldn't last. No, a couple of years they before don't. That. I reckon they. they, they ba- I, I honestly it. believe that they barely make the playoffs. They'd be good still. But I think they make the good. playoffs barely. You just everything else. You just pluck McCaffrey out of there. Yeah, they barely make the fucking playoffs, dude. Think I think about Shanahan it. could find a way to make it work. But I think McCaffrey's. They'd be special. a playoff team, not a Super Bowl team. No, not a Super Bowl team. That's, what I'm, saying. That's all I'm saying. They go back to the pack for sure. Yeah. Yeah, cool. I got a question for you, boys. This, this is coming from uh, the accountant. Is this off the dome tech? This or? Is, nah, this is off the dome tech from the accountant right Who's now. Who's the accountant? Uh, Reese. Reese. As we as Shout we're recording this, he's send this in. Shout out to Reese. Will love Danny Dimes assume he doesn't get injured, mm. survive the whole year as a starter? Who? Who's Danny Dimes. Danny Who's Dimes. Dimes. Who's his backup? Uh, great question. Danuch? No, not Danuch. Drew Lock. Nah, Tommy DeVito. Tommy Cullitz. No, I don't. I don't think he's a backup. He's not a backup there anymore. I think it's Drew Lock. No, it could be Drew Lock. I think it's Drew Lock. Just look that up, please. Look it up, please. Roxton. Look it up, please, statistician. Um, is he going to survive the whole year? This is yes, the thing. because the Giants are fucking morons and they won't be able to swallow their pride. So they, they've, they've brought in a few things for him, haven't they? What? No, no. they didn't. They lost Saquon. Is they lost what Saquon. Yeah. They are actually, the owner came out. Or owner or the they GM. signed a guard. The owner, owner of the GM guard. actually said the other day, they're happy with his contract. Because he really deserved after the year he had. He just got injured last year because we couldn't protect him. They're still happy with the money they're paying him. Of course they are. Trevor Lawrence just got $55 million. Yeah, true. He's just a long-haired Danny Dimes. Uh, <laughs> they've got Drew Locke as a second and yeah. Tommy DeVito as a third. Tommy Cutlers. Tommy Cutlers won't make the team. I oh, know you can keep a third quarterback you can keep now a third non-roster now. spot, can't you? Yep. Um, uh, will he last the whole season? Yeah. Because he'll be... He'll, when you back he'll up do what Daniel Locke. Jones does, and he'll be just okay enough to not be the problem there. Yes, and there's enough issues with that offense that they can you can easily sit there if you're the Giants after a 35 to 13 loss to the Washington football team. You can sit there and go, "Oh, the whole line couldn't block anyone." Mm. There's just so many ways you can make excuses. Oh, well, we don't have a lot of receiver talent. Yeah, or we've got no running game. Um, who's the draft? Was it Malik Neighbors they drafted? Was he the one? Or was he? he yeah. Roma Dunze went to the... Dunze went to the Bears. Bears. So it was Malik Neighbors who they drafted. Um, you know, oh, he's a rookie. He's still learning. He's not getting open that much. Or he's he's banged up. He's not. He's hurt a bit. We don't have a run game. You can make so many fucking excuses. Yeah, that, that, they, they can keep they pretending will. that he's not the problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But that's just as a blanket statement. Yeah. Fuck the Giants. Fuck Danny Dimes. <laughs> Hashtag fuck the Giants. He's just... He's not a starting quarterback in the NFL. Come on. Let's say it right. Technically, he is. Oh, I got a question. Yeah, he's, good, he's not good enough. Is, Technically, he's a starting quarterback. Is he on the 49ers instead of Brock Purdy better, worse, or the same as Brock Purdy? No, wh- way worse. Worse? Way, okay. way worse. Way worse? What do you reckon? I don't think he'd be able to even understand Shanahan's offense. Yeah, I, think, oh, I think it's a smart situation. The, the speculation. That's the reason Brock does so well in that offense because he's a smart guy. The speculation with Shanahan's offense is it's not hard. That's it's very. I've, I've heard the opposite. Training. I've heard all. It's like really like schematic and a lot of verbiage and all that kind of shit. That's, well, that's a West Coast offense, but yeah, well, I don't verbiage think it's is a lot. But the reads aren't. He gives you the reads. Okay, he, like he goes yeah. bang. This is what you got to do every play. This is yeah, what but you is. still got to do it though. I agree, but I I'm not, I don't think it's that quarterback challenging. Yeah, but because it's always been called as a quarterback friendly system. Because mm. let's not forget Jimmy Garoppolo, who was. An average. He was a he was a better looking Gardner Minshew. He, so he, he took him to a Super Bowl. He almost won him a Super Bowl too. He almost won him a Super Bowl. Yeah. That's true. He was not overly more talented. Or I don't know if you ever he's heard more, Jimmy Garoppolo speak. He's not that intelligent. But he's more accurate than than Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones couldn't hit the side of a fucking bus, bro. Better athlete than them both. I don't know. I, Actually, that is a good point. Danny Dimes was or, is one of the fastest quarterbacks. Good yeah, you know, like he's a he's a big strong man. No, no, no. Can run fast. Look, yeah, fine. He's, he's an athlete. Danny Dimes is the autistic Josh Allen. <laughs> Are we sure Josh Allen's not autistic? Clip he's, that. He's the Clip more that. the more autistic Josh Allen. <laughs> no, Josh, no, no, Josh no. Allen talks in fucking movie quotes, and Josh I Josh Allen's love it. got like that cool guy autism, like the kind of guy you want to hang out with. <laughs> cool you know, he's still fuck cool. sort of guy. You know, like I I fuck with a guy like Josh Allen. Josh Allen. I don't fucks. fuck with a guy like Danny Dyer, hey, who much? sits there dribbling in the corner. And you're like, you want a beer, Danny? He's like, yeah, I'm making grilled cheeses. <laughs> like, well, you, the sun hasn't even gone down yet, Danny. You know who Danny Dimes reminds me of? 
Who? Brock Wellington when he had a couple beers. Whoa. Yes. And he needs a subtitle. He's a subtitle writer. He's a subtitle yeah, yeah, yeah. character. <laughs> buy a couple, like exactly 3.7 beers and he needs subtitles. <laughs> 3.7 isn't he d- that, that's his line once he gets if he's just under a half hey, of his gr- third beer great question good. from Reese. by the yeah, way thank, thank you for that. Shout out the more, more questions please more, more, more realistically though Reese, shut more. the fuck up no he, hey, hey, oh, oh. Hey. he's taking up the job as treasurer at the fucking Croton Rangers you better he's shut a your fucking mouth. legend Reese, we love you shout out to Reese. <laughs> he's fucking first ballot hall of fame <laughs> in my league fuck you Reese. Reese, I love you oh, you're under my protection bro don't worry fuck off Reese. George has to come down to practice to be under your protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come Stud the end. Here we go. Nah, you got questions, Dan? I love you, Reese. Just, just joking. No, thanks for the questions. I, I yes. actually, Appreciate the questions it, are so fun. I love the questions. Please, you know, we, need, we need to do a post. Like, you know those Instagram posts that are like, send in a question yeah. and people can respond to it. Are yeah. We, we just need to do, do that? that like every Tuesday morning. Like I could easily do it, but I'm retarded. Yeah, we I know that. I'm the autistic social media manager because I made one, one graphic. One graphic. And you know what the worst part is? I'm sitting there looking and going, that's fucking fire, bro. In effort. Yeah, that's I, fucking fire. I've said this, I don't think I've said this online. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. I love posting from the vault. Because everyone, thinks, everyone thinks it's Jew. The best thing is he's now trolling people on Instagram from the vault <laughs> studio. Oh and God. like Gridiron Australia and shit like that, who they know I fucking hate them. <laughs> and they hate me. And he's just rolling in trolls on them like, him, like he's me. To the point people are laughing like, ha ha ha, good one, J.A. We should it's be like, the, not even me. We should be the trolling podcast. Though. This is a good I'm thing. just rolling around this in the work and just posting We should shit. definitely be trying to need, get and that you niche. Notice that I've, and, and have I ever said to you, oh, please don't do that. I don't want good on Australia to think I'm trolling them. No, fuck you. No, you Australia. hate everybody, bro. Fuck you. Um, and I love that's you. That's American it. Football Australia for you. Thank you. Oh, you with big changes coming. Stop fucking siphoning money, you cocksucker. Uh, and that is the show, that boys. That is the show. Peace. Peace, Peace out, Embrace. <laughs>